Hey, what's up, everyone? This Asian K. Yeah, uh, playing Red for the Sunrise Dime Edition. Today, I'm playing a mission made by uh, Little Nario. And the title mission is uh, Slice of Justice 3, which is his uh, 15th mission of uh, his uh, Manhunt the Deadline series. So, yeah, we're wasting further time on like, this mission. Start playing this now. You need to find and activate the keypad to open the doors. Suspect is believed to be in the area. Approach with extreme caution. He is armed and is considered to be highly dangerous. Yeah, they're, the radio is talking about me. I have a pistol, so... There's a lot of people walking around. Yeah. Lots of people walking around. Everyone's gonna know this. Everyone's gonna know this. What the? Oh my god. I was confused at the beginning and then everyone went like towards me. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm starting at the corner of the warehouse. And apparently there's an exit over there, so that's why I need to be careful where I'm going. Uh, otherwise, I should go all out. That's all I have to say. Like, uh, you know, try to kill the enemies as quick as possible, take their weapons. And the enemies are far away, well, spare them until like you reach their like distance and all that. So that's how... I'm going to work my way for you know so anyways be right back guys all right still at the beginning gonna kill this guy there we go there we go who's next fuck i need to take their weapons Shit, that's a lot of damage, man. I brought a lot of them down. And I think there's only one enemies left. Shit, I need to be careful because those guys can do a lot of damage to me, man. Especially with the weapons they have. Right now, I only have one in me, but still, better not screw this up, man. That thing can nail him with a knife. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Gotcha! Alright, they're all dead. So, I'm gonna take this health pack because I might not going back to the warehouse anymore. I guess I have to go to the, the door itself. To the door. No, nothing happens. So where should I go? There's a lot of stuff here. Lots of corpse. There's a remote control. The door is unlocked, now kill the rest of the cops. Uh, okay, I did. So now I just have to kill this guy here. It's a good thing I killed like uh, almost all of them. Except this one because this one is the objective that triggers to kill all the enemies. You know? Alright, I kill all of them. Now what? Here? Okay. We got him! Okay, it's the end of the road, pal. Let's end it here and now! It's been a long night, and I'm running out of patience! Wow, that's a lot of them. Hope it's not breaking down, man. There you go. That's it? I'm gonna grab the weapons, man. Yeah, I mean... We know it's like pretty much it, like when the music changed, you know? Okay, so 
There's crates. Uh, I don't really want to know what's inside, but uh, there's crates. And there's doors. Okay, you piece of shit. We're going to have a little discussion now, huh? Tell me a little bit about you and your wonderful project. Me? Uh, you stupid pig! You fucking conspiracy theorist. You're calling me a conspiracy theorist? Uh, <laughs> I'm already contaminated. <laughs> but I can assure you of one thing. Uh, I'm going to take a run at your boss. Where's he? Uh, suck my dick, you son of a bitch! Uh, stop, I'll tell you, stop! <laughs> He's hiding at the Minister of Health. <laughs> There you go. Hey, hey, put that away! Put that away! Of course, he's a witness, that's why. He's gonna spread like uh, the information to everyone to drag down our main character. Anyways, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Stay tuned, I was going to play our mission very soon. Alright, can I play on a mission made by uh, the Tenario? And the Kyle mission, it's uh, Towards Dawn 1, which is a 16 mission of uh, his uh, Manhunt the Deadline series. So, yeah, we're always in for a time like this mission. Start playing right now. Oh my god, what? This guy's a chump. He's professional. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh, I have to deal against those guys. Alright. Man, we're missing a game for this? I tell you, that bonus better be good. Fuck, it's pretty quiet. Yeah, I remember like uh, someone made like a topic about like uh, Resident Evil. Like uh, when you provide the main character with many guns, it doesn't become an horror anymore. It becomes more like a you know survival action, which is kind of true, you know. Like you have guns, you're pretty much unstoppable. I mean, mostly likely it's not unstoppable. I mean, scary monsters, like, uh, you know, they can come at you and then you can kill them with, uh, with guns. Unless, uh, for some reason, the plot demands that those monsters can withstand shots because, you know, monsters. And being video game, you know, you have to make it fun. Those monsters make it challenging. Like bullet spongies, you know. All right, so I have to go that way. I don't know if I find can find anything good here. I mean, I'm seeing those uh, what they call row house. I can saw on my radar here. Okay, I'll check again. Don't waste the time. Yeah, just come at me, man. I'm right here. Yeah, that's right. Come at me. Let's shoot like gentlemen. Wow. Yeah, headshot doesn't really work on them because it's just going to back away. See? So it's better to shoot to their bodies because, you know, bodies has a bigger target. Hit points. Does, do they give ammo for this or oh yeah they do just like uh, I thought it was running low man all right come on bring it on yeah forward backward forward backward forward backward come on there you go all right 
can switch the weapons because this I have like a good amount of ammo for the micro Uzi. Or is it really a micro Uzi? I mean, I don't know what's the the mod version of it, you know. Yeah, I already know the terms of the, you know, the guns from the original game, you know, Sandra's. I mean, if, even if I play like other games like, uh, you know, Left 4 Dead or GTA 5, I'm still going to use the term from GTA Sandra's because it's the game that I play the most. It makes sense, you know. Come on, just drop down. Thank you. Yeah, like uh, like the the weapons in Left 4 Dead 2, it's like uh, it's a pump up shotgun. I just call that like compass shotgun, you know. I, I really enjoy uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, I really enjoy Life or Dead too. It's just like uh, the plot's always the same, you know. Like uh, you have a campaign, and you get through like the stage and all that. It, it gets old quickly, you know. I mean, of course, like uh, you know, San Andreas Diam, it uh, it gets old too. Like if you play like like uh, the mission that involves like killing enemies and you go to the checkpoint and all that, but at least you know you, there's like more variety of the plots, you know. Left 4 Dead too. Like uh, when whenever you do a custom camping, it's like you you go there. There's there isn't not, not that much of a plot, you know. It's just like the survivors just go there and then like uh, you know escape from the the place most of the time, you know. So where should I go? I mean, okay, there's a radio briefing. Oh shit. Should I kill this guy? Should I kill you? Should I kill you? You know what? Just going to shoot to their body. Yeah. Knock down, please. Yo, I don't have that much help, man. Oh, shit. There's an enemy behind me. Oh, armor. I mean, health pack, not armor. Yeah, this place is pretty wide, man. So, where's my enemy? Enemy, not Ami. Yo, know, like Ami is friend. In, it's friend in French, you know. All right. So the guy was following me earlier, but uh, now I'm losing track of him. I don't know where he is. I really don't know where he is. He went somewhere that I'm not familiar with. Yes, this is like the place to progress anyway, so... Or did he went down like, uh, you know... You know, when there's like a platform glitch and all that, you know? Yeah, that, that, that sucks when it happens because... Uh, like, if there's like an objective where you have to kill all the enemies, like, and you cannot kill the enemies where... Like, you went somewhere outside of the, the battle zone, then it sucks, you know? Oh my god, you son of a bitch! Takes a while to kill them. There you go. There you go. Is there like any like uh, help back respawn? That would be great, man. No! He doesn't have one. Shit. Yeah, I should I should go to the wall or, or like uh, hiding into crates to protect myself against enemy fires. Yeah, those guys have quite a good uh, accuracy, you know. Yeah, I was just messing around. Oh yeah, that's right. I have this. How could I forget about this? Yeah, that's right. Bring it on. Bring it on. The good thing about this gun is that uh, you can knock them down like this. You see. And when you knock them down, they cannot do anything. They cannot. They cannot fight back. 
and they're dead. It's effective. Oh, he spot me. Uh, just uh. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch! You know what? I have this weapon too. Oh my god. I think it's gonna be challenging because, you know, it's like. Like the way you have to kill them, man. Oh my god, he just killed me. Yeah, he just killed me. Yeah, so much sun off shotgun is not really my kind of weapon. Yeah, I was shooting and then the guy didn't go down. Unlike uh, this little gun, you know? Uh, of course, I like uh, Mikey Uzi, but uh, when the enemy is like uh, still standing on the ground, you know, can, can fight back, well, it pissed me off too. So I guess, uh, yeah, this are good gun will be like uh, the best weapon against them. But when you have in a limited ammo, well, you have to organize your, you know, inventory properly in order to just, like survive longer. So yeah. Anyways, uh, be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. Okay. Yeah, I got a, I got a good amount of ammo. Uh, yeah, there's a good amount of them that you can still kill them. So you see if good amount of ammo, even though it can take a while to do that, you know? Uh, okay, so... You know, I just want to them to follow me and then, you know, get the job done here. Yeah, that's right. Bring it on. There you go. Oh my god, I need to be careful with those enemies. Enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this. Oh, you son of a bitch! Or you can do something like this. You knock them down. Well, he's already dead. Like, uh, you can knock them down and then, like, uh, you can punish them, like, further. He's already dead. Yeah, I know. Alright, whatever. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thanks for watching and it's next time, guys.